This episode of Internet Today is sponsored by Honey. Screw it! It's officially spooky season now. No, it's not. I, no, I don't even care. It's spooky season. Just getting to the month of September, it feels like such a huge accomplishment this year that I just feel like there, there has to be some sort of celebration. I like It got to September 1st, and I was like, wow, we did it. And just like any other time or year, nothing has really changed. It's just that it's September. But I needed a celebration, and as someone who gets... Uh, hyped way too early for Christmas and the subsequent war on Christmas each year. That's the fun part. Uh, it's only fair that I endorse the acceptance of Halloween festivities in early September. If only for this year. Just give me this one year. Well, you mean you're not going to get any actual Halloween festivities, so I guess drag it out. Yeah, seriously. No parties, no parades, anything, no trick-or-treaters. Anything to take our attention away from the current hellscape that we're actually living in and focus on something else. I'm, yeah. I'm just happy that I get to look at my jack-o'-lantern every night. I'm tired of hearing what that orange pumpkin down at the White House is talking about. <laughs> so I got myself my own orange pumpkin. It doesn't talk back or say anything. That darn jack-o'-lantern <laughs> up in Washington, D.C. Yeah. And those ghouls up on Capitol Hill. <laughs> those vampires. Uh lobbying for their big businesses. Listen, just let me and everyone else who's trying to get to fall a little bit faster enjoy this, Elliot. I it, I just can't feel it. It's like hot as balls in yeah, here. It's going right to get now. like 110 this weekend. <laughs> uh, anyways, wait, hold on a second, Ricky. Mm -hmm. What if I told you there was another month-long celebration going on in this month, September? Wow. A brand new tradition that is sure to take the country, no, the world, <laughs> by storm. It's called... No Simp September, and it's coming to a Twitch stream, Twitter feed, YouTube video, OnlyFans account, TikTok clip, and any other social media platform you can think of where women exist near you. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I guess that includes Vote, Gab, and Parlor. No, those are out of the question. They're actually. out of the question because, uh, well, yeah. Women don't not. exist there. Yeah. That's... <laughs> anyway, also real quick, in case you for some reason are confused about what simping is, well, congratulations. I, yeah. I want your life. But yeah. simping is, at its core, uh, going out of your way to appeal to someone who does not and has no plans to reciprocate. But uh, simp has also mutated into just being a kind of catch-all term for thirsty dudes on the internet, specifically those who donate money to women. And in a larger sense, it's kind of this year's cuck. Yeah. It's lost all it's meaning. A, it's a derogatory term for someone that is uh, thirsty on the internet or... Well, not even. Like, or does something. Like if, I, like if I went to the store for my wife, they, someone would be like, yeah, oh, oh simp simping yeah, again. Literally huh? interacting with a woman yeah. in any way that doesn't involve you like socially manipulating her into having sex with you. Yeah. What a simp. Buying tampons for the wife, huh? Simp. Simp. Uh, anyways, much like the mainstream success of No Nut November, No Sim September was created on Reddit, where it, of course, has its own subreddit, which is described as a community dedicated to spending the entirety of the month of September without simping. For some, this is a treacherous task. For others, this will be a piece of cake. But in the end, simping is, most of the time, a destructive behavior. And for those who realize they have a problem and need to stop, we're here for all of September. That OK Boomer girl's in trouble. <laughs> yes. There's a Bella Delphine in trouble. In trouble. Put Seal up that bathwater, boys. Yep. Not this month. Might as no well way. take the month off. Uh, anyways, of course, they have plenty of rules that you have to follow in order to transcend your normal weak simping self. And not only become a member of this exclusive group of individuals, but also receive the coveted diamond flare <laughs> on their subreddit. God, I hate Reddit. Mm -hmm. And I'm on there all day long. Yes. But I never comment. No. I've been lurking on there for 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> the only way to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's take a look here. Rule number one, be honest about simping. If you break down during the month and simp, you should come forth and confess. The only thing worse than a true simp is an underhanded one who takes the reward yet still simps. Yeah, it's very religious sounding, actually. Mm -hmm. Go you to did, confession. You did a bad thing. Come into this box yeah. and tell me all you about it. You must atone. Rule number two, do not donate any money to booby streamers, TikTok dancers, e-girls, or etc. This is one of the purest forms of simping. You are submitting and surrendering your financial power for a fleeting moment of lust that you could use this money that you spent precious time for on something that will prove to be wholesome and last long. Yeah, also this was, it's written very poorly and there were mm. numerous spelling mistakes that I had to correct for oh, our version of it. I am shocked. Uh -huh. Rule number three, do not reject the opportunity to spend time with friends of family in order to watch booby streamers or any of the other culprits listen. What? Do not reject the opportunity? 
So take the opportunity. I don't know what they're even saying with that one. Uh, like spend a- time with families instead of watching girls on stream, I guess. Okay. Yeah, don't- I think that's what they mean. But yeah, that's the way what they mean. The way it's written is like there's like double, triple negatives going If you're going to simp for anyone this month, it better be your mom. <laughs> <laughs> it's not called simping when it's your mom. This exactly. is called being a good son. It's a loophole. <laughs> yeah. Uh, rule four, do not upvote, like, or comment on a post just because there is a girl in the photo. Stop. Analyze the media. Ask yourself, would I really upvote this if there wasn't a girl in the picture? Uh, this also, uh, this rule also applies to 4chan. Don't click on bait threads just because there is a girl slash anime character in the thumbnail. We're tired of seeing slash bant riddled with these posts. Contain that shit to slash A. I mean, so it sounds like for a lot of people, the crossover... Between No Nut November and Sim September is going to mean that Sim September is essentially No Nut November, the prequel. Yeah. Where, uh, where October just becomes a wild month filled with uh, semen flowing like yeah. wine. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Also, this is clearly written by incel teenagers. But uh, <laughs> here's rule number five. This may be a hard one for some of you. No pun intended. Jesus. Do not willingly view pornography during the entire <laughs> month of September. It's fucking No Nut September. <laughs> yeah. Pornography addiction can be just as much of a destructive behavior as simping. You called it, and you mm-hmm. were right. Yep. Rule number six, comment on the daily check-ins. All you have to do is literally just say, still in, and you'll be credited for that day. See, they have a check-in system. Uh, it's like a, like a Alcoholics Anonymous. It's simping anonymous. Listen, if this is a way for people who otherwise don't have friends to find a sense of community... Oh, you mean like I flat guess, earthers? I guess that's fine. Or anti-vaxxers? Ugh. And, what? of course, alongside this post are dozens of others showing solidarity and support for those participating. And there's even a handy, helpful copy pasta complete with an exorbitant amount of emojis here, ready to go. It reads, sorry sluts, simp summer is over. You better fuck off because no simp September has only just begun. You know what that means. Looks like the turkey isn't getting any slurpy tonight. <laughs> Prepare your pussies for a dry spell because it's time for the boys <laughs> to focus on themselves. You sluts best save yourselves for that good dick. Send this to seven of your biggest hoes to let them know you're ready for no simp September. Okay, yeah. fuck these people. I don't care if they're finding a second community. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. This is I, I was right. This is a bunch of fucking teenage incels and probably... A wide range of ages of incels, mm-hmm. and uh, I have no sympathy for them. So yeah, it, but that copy pasta, you know, not bad, not as good as some other like you know all timers. But uh, we understand the subtlety is not really something that Zoomers are good at. The uh, the emoji version that uh, you'll that you've seen on the video, Elliot mm-hmm. didn't get to see it here, but it is it is a work of art. Honestly, yeah. uh, I'm surprised they didn't have any cummies in there. But uh, you know, you, maybe that's played out. Maybe I'm out of touch. But look. As Elliot said before, if it takes a special occasion or a challenge and a sense of community in order to inspire people with what probably boils down to addictive personality disorder to stop doing things to themselves that end up hurting them emotionally and, in this case, financially, then fine. Whatever. It's just that these types of groups also tend to foster extremely toxic views towards yeah. the things that they become addicted to. I picked up on a slight hint of that there. Yeah, so becoming, uh, you know, angry at something that you're addicted to, like uh, cigarettes or drugs or booze, hey, that's fine. But when it turns out uh, into hatred for other human beings, specifically women, because you have a problem, then it becomes everyone's problem. And you should probably just seek professional help instead of finding it through online communities that have a tendency to turn one toxic activity into another. Uh, Seriously, no shame in getting professional help. There is literally nothing wrong with reaching out to a mental health specialist. As long as you can afford it because we live in America. And, oh, uh, shit, yeah, you're right. Maybe this is one of the reasons that things are just so fucked over here. God damn it, it was right in front of us all along and everyone knew it and we did nothing about it. I guess we'll just force to live in this hellscape for another 15, 20 years. Who knows how long it'll take to unravel everything. <sighs> but you can simp us all you want. Yeah, simp I us, g- please. I give you yeah. permission. <laughs> but, hey, let's, there's at least one person out there who you won't have trouble simping for any longer, aside from us. Mm-hmm. Despite this person still having an OnlyFans page, as far as we know, mm-hmm. We haven't checked. That person's Jacob Wool, who mm-hmm. was abruptly and unceremoniously banned from both Instagram and its parent company, Facebook, on Monday night. This place, this guy's running out of places to, to hide. Yeah, he's Pretty lucky much. he did that OnlyFans, not so he could make money off of it, 
but only so he could still have that sense of community. Just to have a profile right. somewhere. And you know what? He's probably participating in No Simp September 2. In fact, all of my months are No Simp. Jacob doesn't need to simp. No. He is an Adonis. <laughs> Uh, he does get a lot of like half the people, half the women that have like come out as like their their actresses are like, yeah, I fucked. Him. Like, I, listen, I guess he. I listen. I, he must be very charming to some. It's 2020, and I will not be satisfied until an actual real news story about Jacob Wall fucking Becky Falwell comes out. Because it is 2020, and it is it. Listen, that's the crossover. It's bound to that gets it right. Yes. Anyways, yeah. Losing his Instagram and Facebook, that pretty much decimates the remainder of his social media presence, considering that he's already been banned from Twitter about a year and a half ago in 2019. Uh, looks like the bans from Facebook and Instagram most likely happened for the same reason. Inauthentic behavior, a.k.a. operating a bunch of bot accounts. Yeah. Uh, per the Daily Dot, we learned Wool violated Instagram and Facebook's community guidelines by partaking in inauthentic behavior on the platforms. Wall was specifically banned from both platforms for creating fake accounts, which pushed disinformation ahead of the November 2020 election. Jesus oh my gosh, <laughs> Jacob Wall pushing disinformation? But he's such a good boy. Election? Yeah. So yeah, mm -hmm. looks like for now the only thing he's got might be uh, whatever far right social media platforms still exist. I believe he's active on Parler, and he has he claims that Parler sucks though. He's like tech tech uh, technology wise, it's about six years behind. See, that's why I love Jacob. Is he's uh, I mean he hates liberals, but he also he's a huge contrarian. So mm -hmm. uh, he gets in fights with conservatives all the time. He just doesn't. Uh, well, it's not that he doesn't support their ideas or or abide by their ideals. It's that he gets frustrated with the way they handle things. Yeah. Like there's a, there's too much process going on. Why can't we just claim that uh, uh, this guy raped someone? Mm -hmm. Or, or a, hey, why can't you just make this website better? <laughs> Beep, bop, boom. <laughs> yeah. He's also active on Telegram, which if you've ever visited it, is a fucking nightmare to scroll through. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, he's a, that's what he's got. Plus his OnlyFans. Yeah. But OnlyFans has already been ruined by Bella Thorne. People are very upset about and, that, too. Uh, yeah, I'm probably going to get into that on Tech News Day because mm -hmm. it's, uh, yeah, she pretty much single-handedly, like, ruined the platform. Ruined that platform for a lot of people yeah. at a time when it's a lot of people's sole source of income. Yeah. No judgment. Yeah, she was uh, the, the simp's Trojan horse for No Simp September. She, yeah. <laughs> simp should be thanking Bella Thorne, but not <laughs> too much because no. that might be simping. Yes, ex exactly. <laughs> All right, uh, before we get into the rest of today's stories, which includes one of the strangest occurrences in our city inside of a year that's already been filled with absolutely crazy occurrences, let's take a quick second to thank today's sponsor, Honey. I mean, we all shop online now more than ever, and we've all seen that little promo code field taunt us at checkout. Do you have one? Are you going to save money? Or are you going to pay full price like a simp? Mm -hmm. But <laughs> thanks, to, thanks to Honey, manually searching for those coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is the free browser extension that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best ones that it finds straight to your cart. Uh, Honey supports over 30,000 stores online. They range from sites that have tech and gaming products to popular fashion brands and even food delivery. But if I pay the vendor the full price, they'll like me more. No. No simp. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Use the Honey coupons. Mm -hmm. Imagine you're shopping on one of your favorite sites. At checkout, the Honey button, it just drops down. And all you got to do is click Apply Coupons. You wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons it can find for that site. And if Honey finds a working coupon, you will watch the prices drop. Did you get anything recently? Well, I uh, I believe I did use a Honey coupon on Newegg for some new RAM, but it was stolen from my doorstep. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, damn. Well, that sucks. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, I just got uh, a, a figurine, a little countdown to Halloween from the Disney site. I know, you hate me. But uh, not only did it give me 10% off and free shipping because I used Honey, but it also gave me some Honey Gold, yeah. like a, a boosted version of it. So I got like like 350 in Honey Gold uh, just for buying this thing. So that nice. was nice as well. Honey has found us and the rest of its over 17 million members, over $2 billion in savings. If you don't already, already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out on free savings. It's It's free. It installs in just a few seconds, and by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid, and you'll be supporting this show. So get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash itdaily. That is joinhoney.com slash itdaily, or just click the link in the description below. Thank you for sponsoring the show. Now let's get to the mystery that has captivated our city, and therefore the world. Airline pilots are pretty goddamn sure they've seen people jetpacking around Los Angeles while they attempt to land their actual planes at LAX. Yeah, this is a, a new problem that we have. People jetpacking through the skies of our city. 
dangerous. It we're is. Not, we're not mincing words here. When we say jetpacking, we mean that pilots have spotted and reported at least one person wearing a jetpack and using it to fly high above the city, apparently close enough to landing airlines that they were worried about almost hitting them. <laughs> Jesus Christ! What, what the hell was that I thing? mean, you can't even sneeze in Westchester without the cops coming to see if you're committing terrorism. How so. are you going to operate a jetpack yeah. <laughs> over that? You know, you know what's really close to LAX, though? And this has me thinking. I didn't even think about this before reporting on this story. Tesla. Yeah. Elon Musk is developing a jetpack, and he's almost crashing into planes. I'm convinced of it now. Could be. He's right there in Hawthorne, right? Yes. Yeah. And that's where the tunnel comes out. Yes. He's probably taking that jetpack down in the tunnel. Yes. Anyways, uh, at first we were like, how could this be true? I mean, despite personal jetpacks actually existing, sort of. But the ones that we think of are used for well-regulated exhibitions and world record attempts. Yeah. And the ones that everyday people can use if they have a little extra money while on vacation are powered by jet skis. And they allow you to just float over the water mm. by a couple feet. So what the hell's going on here? Well, no one really knows yet, uh, but it's apparently enough of a threat to our skies that the FBI is involved in investigating. The FBI has launched an investigation after an American Airlines pilot said he saw what appeared to be a man flying with a jetpack Sunday night near Los Angeles International Airport. Tower, American 1997. We just passed a guy in a jetpack, the first American Airlines pilot states as he put a call into the control tower. American 1997. Okay, thank you. Were they off to your left or right side? Off the left side, maybe 300 yards or so, about our altitude, the pilot responds. That's so close. It's very close. Yeah. We just saw the guy pass us by in the jetpack. A second pilot from JetBlue Airways then tells the tower, which warned another pilot about the sighting. FBI spokeswoman Laura I. Miller said Tuesday that agents at LAX were investigating after the pilot reported the incident to the control tower. In a statement, the agency said, the FBI is aware of the reports by pilots on Sunday and is working to determine what occurred. The only thing I can think of, it could be a person in a backyard made jetpack. Let's be honest. Could just be a balloon that looks like a jetpacking guy. Could be a drone. Yeah. Could there's a lot of things that go, a lot of uh, things that go on near the airport. Like that, there's been a lot of drone footage recently of the new stadium that's being built literally oh, right yeah, next yeah. to the airport. Could be that. Could be. Elon Musk floating in a homemade jetpack. Mm -hmm. He just takes two of those flamethrowers and points them at the ground and holds on to them, and there he goes. I just want to see, like, an artist's rendition of what it looked like. Yeah. This is like one of those scenes in, like, the first Iron Man movie. Like, whoa, what's that? He's like, what's up, pilots? I'm yeah. Iron Man. Yeah, Boom. and it's just, like, rusty old metal and, yeah. like, <laughs> bolts falling off and shit. So your guesses are all as good as ours. But when it comes to reliability and people that you can usually trust, airline pilots are typically pretty high on that list. Unless they fly from Malaysia. Yeah, or if they're like, uh, what's his name, and they get drunk after takeoff. Denzel Washington? Yes. Uh, so while it's strange and maybe a bit unbelievable that a random person is flying above our city with a jetpack like the goddamn Rocketeer or Iron Man, we're going to go ahead and believe these reports for now. Why would they lie? Uh, Two separate airlines, It's too. a distraction because the cops shot a guy in South L.A. That's true. Hey, look be... over here. Jetpack. Wow, what? a jetpack. Yeah. Uh, so, listen, if the uh, pilots were of the recently uncovered Antifa Airlines, then maybe, maybe we'd have a hard time accepting their claims. But yes, you heard right. At least according to our president, Antifa Airlines is definitely a thing. In an absolutely wild clip taken from an interview with uh, Laura Ingram on <laughs> Monday night, uh, President Trump first claims that Joe Biden is being controlled by people who the public, including Ingram herself, don't even know exist. People from the dark shadows. These people from the dark shadows are also controlling the riots and the streets, according to the president. Oh, it's spooky season after all. Uh, he then goes on to say, We had someone get on a plane from a certain city this weekend, and in the plane, it was almost completely loaded with thugs wearing these dark uniforms, these black uniforms with gear and this and that. Wow. So they're flying commercial. Yeah. How they they get on the plane wearing a bunch of tactical gear. So weird that we can see countless videos of Karens not putting on their masks on plane. Yeah. But as soon as Antifa super soldiers appear. Like one person would be like, what the fuck is this? There's yeah. at least one Trump supporter on that flight that would uh, stand up and say, nay, yeah. get off my plane. I was planning on my rant being about how I refused to wear a mask, but I'm going to make my rant about <laughs> how Antifa's flying in here. And they have better seats than me. They got the exit rows. Whose side are you on, American Airlines? Yeah. Uh, Ingram asks, where was this? And uh, Trump just responds with, yeah, I'll tell you sometime, but it's under investigation right now. 
which is a, a typical excuse. Just That's like, classified, man. <laughs> you can't talk about it. Uh, th- this information's under audit right now. Yeah. Uh, so according to the president, though, uh, Antifa is so well organized that they have taken over the airlines and they're so supported by their fellow travelers that no one has posted photos. Yeah, it's like when Spider-Man's mask fell off. Yeah. Everyone's like, we won't tell anyone Spider-Man. Then we they carried you. him. They probably carry these Antifa guys. When the plane stops, they're like... They clap. They, first for the landing they and carry, then the They carry the Antifa guys so they can get off exactly. before everyone else. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, no stories, though. No videos. Yeah. Nothing about Weird. these Antifa thugs showing up on flights. And uh, where are they going? Nobody knows. But they're there. They're taking over your airlines. In fact, they're probably coming to your city to, uh, well, we're not entirely sure, steal your house or your jobs or something. Uh, Cause a ruckus. Yeah. Uh, it's all, listen, it's all just They're fear. looking for a Donnybrook. <laughs> it's all just fear mongering. But it is getting easier and easier to see through unless you're someone who literally believes everything the president says. Uh, that's about one third of the country yeah, that exactly. you just described. Hey, uh, have you heard about the uh, Antifa coming on the airlines? Antifa airplanes. I love this because I never leave my small city, so I wouldn't know if he's bullshitting. I don't know. I don't know if we talked about this, but like during the like the heat of the George Floyd stuff, yeah. In June, uh, a bunch of towns, including like police departments, were all convinced that Antifa was taking buses into their cities, and like people actually intercepted like police comms where they're talking about it. None of it happened. It was yeah. literally just like Facebook posts, like. Antifa is riding buses into your cities. It did result in a bunch of people who just happened to own buses getting harassed. Yes. Um, so I love how in just three months, uh, Antifa has upgraded from charter buses to planes. Yeah, to, they've done a great job upgrading. Uh, ne- ne- next step, the battle bus. Where where we dropping, comrades? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, also, it's, it's just, you know, I think it's just uh, a little weird that the biggest airports happen to be in the biggest cities, which happen to be run by Democrats. Yeah, you ever think of that? Why isn't there a giant airport in my small town in Alabama, damn it? Mm-hmm. It's because Antifa controls all of the airports. Yeah. And that's how they get away with it. And they're getting away with it right now. Yep. The Antifa thugs. Yep. Anyways, I'm a frequent flyer on old Antifa Airlines, so uh, time to go catch my next flights. Been flying all the time during this pandemic. You just didn't know because when you fly Antifa, no one tells. If there are any Antifa members on board, um, we do have some open seats here in first class. <laughs> Get some free wine, free oh, crackers. I paid two thousand dollars for this ticket, but thank you for your service. You can have my <laughs> seat. Have my I'll seat. sit in the back. Yeah, they're just like the, the uh, they're respected in the airports, like yeah. army members. <laughs> this is your mayor, Eric Garcetti. Come on down to the VA lounge. Uh, if yeah. you have all your members of Antifa, come on through. We have a private seating area. All the USO uh, places yeah. are all for Antifa. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm sure that's all true. <laughs> that's it for our show today. Watch the most recent episode of Weekly Weird News to learn about Karen, the video game. And also a brand new episode of uh, News Dump. Check both of those out, and we'll see you very soon for Tech News Day and the downfall of OnlyFans. Goodbye. <laughs>